Have you ever noticed that after hours and hours of lecture, all the professors start to sound the same? That's probably because you watch it at double speed. It's called the chipmunk effect. Really? Yeah, definitely. I don't know about that. I think they really just all sound the same. Me too. I mean, I guess I'm never in class, but how do they sound live? Hmm. Joke about poor class attendance. Laugh, 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 laugh. Comment about crazy St. Louis weather. <laughs> Assurance that I'll be done quickly, and I don't want to be here any more than you do. Desire for this to be a dialogue, though I know you have nothing to contribute to the conversation. Explanation of the value of my lecture. Guarantee that no matter what field you go into, my lecture will be relevant. Confession that I never understood this as a medical student, but now it's part of my job. Graph that shows an increasing trend of disease. Epidemiology of disease from five years ago. Comment about how I should really update my slide. Don't worry about this slide. I won't test you on it. You don't need to know anything on it. Acronym, acronym, acronym. Reference to some disease I assume you all know. Reference to pop culture icon. Reference to an old TV show showing just how old I am. Reference to technological advance from four years ago. Lament about how difficult it is to keep up with progress. Humorous interjection. Laugh, 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 laugh. Loud shushing sound. Fumble with the video that I'm trying to show on PowerPoint. Accidentally right click on slide and have no idea what to do. Ask AV guy to come help. Apologize for not knowing anything about technology. Mention a minute detail in passing that I will test you on repeatedly. Spend some time on classification system. Then explain it has no statistical value. Then explain that attendings will pimp you on it anyway. Explain the real cause of disease, but then tell you that you should answer it differently on the boards or if an attending pimps you. Statement subcategorizing the disease I'll be talking about to make it the most common something and to confuse you about where in the grand scheme of things this disease actually fits in. Question to prove I've done the reading. Relevant question about the material. Avoidance of the question and clarification of a point that you already understood. Clicker question with obvious answer. Clicker question with seemingly obvious answer that is actually incorrect. Clarification that your thought process was right, but you didn't take into account the facts that I haven't mentioned until now. Genetics, genetics, genetics. Molecular structure of something in my lecture that you can just ignore. HIPAA violation. Picture a famous person with this disease. Sarcasm about Wikipedia. <laughs> Explanation that although this is taught this way, you'll never see it like this. Vague, jittery use of laser pointer. Question. Failure to see student's hand waving feverishly. Busy slide with confidence intervals of p-values. Apology for reproducing the entire table and just pointing to a single value. This slide is just for reference for third year, in case you want to waste the maximum amount of time looking this up instead of just using up to date. Relevant question about the material? Failure to understand question for the third time, moving on. Reminder that personalized medicine is here. Prediction that genetic markers will revolutionize this field. Slide with a graph with no axes labeled, giving you the impression that what I'm telling you is true without any real evidence. Explain that this slide is important, wink. For the exam, wink, wink. Instruct that if there's one thing that you remember from my lecture, it needs to be this slide. Question to audience. Avoidance of eye contact. Justification for running 10 minutes over by reminding you that we started two minutes late. Joke that absence of questions implies perfect understanding. Picture proving I travel. Picture proving I have a life. Pictures proving I have a family and have had sex.